Hey, New Hope, hope you're having a great day today. I wanted to just take a minute and encourage you during this time that life is different to spend some time in the Word of God, to really fill yourself up with what is good. Having these daily devos is great and having Sunday services and midweek services online is great, but let's go beyond that. Let's spend time every day in the Word of God. And what you'll find is that the Word of God, it's good and it is nourishment for your body. Imagine if you were to go all day today without eating. You'd probably get hangry like I would. Uh, imagine if you went a whole week, a whole month. What you'd find is that your body would get weaker and weaker. And we know that our bodies, they need food in order for us to live, in order for us to get stronger. The same is true spiritually. We need to fill ourselves up. We need to feed ourselves. We need to be in our word every day to grow stronger in our relationship with God. And in Matthew chapter 4, uh, verse 4, it says, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Man, if you want to gain life, if you want to grow in your walk with God, you need nourishment for your spirit. It is essential in our walk with God that we spend time in God's word. You see that his word, it's a source of life. It contains infinite help and infinite wisdom. And when it is read and obeyed in a spirit of faith, it leads to unimaginable spiritual growth. There was a study that really intrigued me and it was done in the U.S. from people ages 8 to 80. And they wanted to see how people were engaging with scripture. And what they found is unreal. Actually, these results weren't even what they were originally looking for. But the study showed this, that if you read your Bible one day a week, maybe that's uh, just watching Sunday service and, and being in your word during that time, that there was nothing significant that changed in a person. If you read it two times a week, there was insignificant results. Three times a week, things started to change. But the time that people started reading their Bible four times a week, the spike, it spiked off the chart. Things changed drastically. When you read your Bible at least four times a week, something radical happens. And here's what they found. Feeling lonely from three to four times. If you read your Bible four times a week, feeling lonely drops 30%. Anger issues drop 32%. Bitterness in relationships, maybe that's uh, with your spouse, maybe that's with friends, your, your kids, your siblings, your, your parents, uh, drops 40%. Alcoholism drops 57%, just when you spend time in your word four days a week. Uh, feeling spiritually stagnant drops 60%. Viewing pornography drops 61%. And then on the reverse of that, sharing your faith jumps 200%. Why? Because you have a confidence. Man, I know what the word of God says. I know that it says that, that I will succeed, that, that no weapon formed against me and fail. I'm going to share my faith. Discipling others jumps 230%. And there's so much good that comes from reading your Bible. It's the nourishment you need. Not only is it nourishment, but it contains power to overcome. What we see is that when we experience temptation, we have the power through the word of God to overcome that temptation. It's crazy to think that even Jesus was tempted. And how did he get through that temptation? By quoting scripture. Man, I, I think if Jesus needed scripture to get past those temptations, what does that say about us? I need it even more than he needed it. And what you'll see is that the Bible, it's a weapon. It's a sword that gives us power and authority to overcome any temptation thrown our way. I hope that this encourages you. I hope that you can find a, a Bible reading plan to get on board with and spend time in your word every single day. We love you. We hope to see you soon.